In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what you need before you get started. Don't worry about getting anything set up just yet. Just sit back and listen what I have to say, and then you will understand what you need. So first of all, you're obviously going to need an eBay account. The reason you need an eBay account is because that's the platform that you're going to be selling on. A question that so many people ask is, do I set up an account on eBay.co.uk? Do I set up an account on eBay.com or eBay Germany, eBay France? My answer to you will be to set up an account based on your local country. So if you're from Germany, set up an account on eBay Germany. If you're from France, set up an account on eBay France. If you're from UK, set up an account on eBay UK. And if you're from USA, then go ahead and set up an account from eBay on eBay.com. Now, the reason why that is important is because you don't need to worry about what platform to sell on because the strategy we are going to follow will enable your items to appear on ebay.co.uk, appear on ebay.com and Germany and France, etc. But it will be easier for you to set up an account in your local country because that's the easiest way to get all your details across the board. Now, for example, if you have an account on ebay.co.uk, all you need to do is if you want to list on ebay.com is you go on to ebay.com and then you use the same login details to log into .com and that works with any other country. So my advice to you is based on your local country, go ahead and set up an account based on that country. The next thing you're going to need is a PayPal account. The reason why you need to set up a PayPal account is obviously the payment system that eBay use is through PayPal. So you're going to need to set up a PayPal account and it's pretty self-explanatory when you are setting up an eBay account and a PayPal account, you just provide the details. You just give them the details that they are asking for. Now, my one advice I would give to you guys, if you are setting up a completely new eBay account, what you want to do is you want to set up a business account straight away. So the way you're going to do that is, is go ahead and click on sell. And then you can go ahead and click on sign in. And if you don't have a sign in, go ahead and then just create an account over here. So click on create account. Now, what you want to do is over here, it says create a business account. The reason why you want to create a business account is on business accounts, they tend to offer you higher selling limits when you start off. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but you are more likely to get the higher selling limit on a business account because you are more likely to sell more products out there. And of course, this is also a business. The reason it's a business is because you are going to be selling products. You're going to be buying products and selling products. You're going to be drop shipping products. So it is a business. It's not a personal account. It's a business account. And then you will see that also on certain business shops, you know, we'll look at subscriptions later on in the course. And you will see that certain shops give you more facilities, more features when you are using a business shop. So definitely when you do go ahead and set up your eBay account, you want to set up a business account. And same with the PayPal, you want to go ahead and set up a PayPal business account. If it asks you for specific business details, just go ahead and enter your details. If you don't have a business registered, that's fine. Use the name that you're going to be using in your store. Now, this is a transfer wise. Transfer wise is an international bank account and everybody can apply for a transfer wise account. Now, the people that I recommend, if you're living in US and you're opening your account on eBay.com, then you probably will not need this. But let me explain to you why you're going to need a transfer wise account. I will leave a link to transfer wise in the description of this video. Just go ahead and click on the link and then go ahead and get your account set up. It may take you a few days because transfer wise will ask you for some details and it's in your interest to give them the exact details, register with legitimate details, don't register under someone else's name, register under your own name because this will be your own business account. And the reason why I recommend a TransferWise account is say for example, when you open up your CJ Dropshipping and your Yakify account, these guys ac accept payments in US dollars, okay? Now, here's the thing. If you sell on eBay.co.uk, you're going to get paid in Great British Pounds which is great. If you sell on eBay France, you're going to get paid in euros. If you get paid, if you open up an account in eBay.com, you're going to get paid in US dollars. Now, when you are fulfilling orders on CJ Dropshipping or Yakify, you will need to top up your account or you will need to pay for your products in US dollars. Now, the problem is this. If you have a UK account and you get paid in Great British Pounds, once the money is in your PayPal account, you can certainly top up 
your balance with CJ dropshipping uh, from Great British Pounds to US dollars using your PayPal and same with Yakify. However, PayPal have a high conversion rate. What I mean by that is they charge more than your average rate, more than your typical rate when it comes to converting from US dollars to Great British Pounds or vice versa or same with Euros. So what you want to do is you want to use a TransferWise account. So what will actually happen is, say for example, you sell an item on ebay.co.uk, you get paid in Great British Pounds. Then you can withdraw the funds from your PayPal account to your TransferWise account and it will stay in Great British Pounds. However, once you want to make a purchase on CJ Dropshipping or Yakify, they charge you a very, very low amount compared to PayPal when it's converting to US dollars. If you keep getting paid in Great British Pounds and then you transfer directly through to CJ Dropshipping or Yakify from Great British Pounds to US dollars, then you're going to get charged a high amount and this will eat into your profits. For that reason, you want a TransferWise account. If you sell on ebay.co.uk if you sell on ebay france germany or the eu country or any other country that's not that does not get paid in us dollars then you definitely want to open up a transfer wise account and then go ahead open up a transfer wise account the link will be in the description of this video it's free to set up a transfer wise account you're not going to get charged anything for setting up they just may need you to put in an initial deposit just to get set up but that's not for them to keep that's for you to get deposited into your account i personally have a transfer wise account and that is the exact reason i use it now if you're from us and you've got an ebay.com account and then you go ahead and get paid in us dollars then you will not really need a transfer wise account because you're going to get paid in us dollars and then you can pay directly when you're making your purchases from cj dropshipping or yakify you can pay directly in us dollars so it's not going to be an issue for you for everybody else that get that gets paid in a different currency other than US dollars, then it's in your interest to open up a TransferWise account. The next thing that you need is Zik Analytics. Again, I will leave a link to Zik Analytics in the description of this video. I will also leave a link to CJ Dropshipping and I will leave a link to Yakify. So what is Zik Analytics? Zik Analytics is the product research tool that we're going to be using. Now, Zik Analytics, the reason why we use it, it's a very, very powerful product research tool. Again, don't worry about how to use it in this video because I will be going through in-depth tutorials on how to use Zik Analytics, but you're going to need this to find winning products. And once you start finding winning products using Zik Analytics, then you're going to get them listed onto your eBay store. What is CJ Dropshipping and Yakify? These are going to be the suppliers, the wholesale suppliers that we're going to be using. So for example, once we list an item onto eBay, once we get that sale, we're either going to come on to CJ Dropshipping or we're going to come on to Yakify to get those sales fulfilled, those orders fulfilled. We're going to be making the purchases from CJ or Yakify. We're going to be using both of them because depending on whatever product that you source, sometimes CJ might give you a better price, sometimes Yakify might give you a better price. So that's why it's in your interest to have an account with both. And when you put a sourcing request through, which I will show you later on in this program, how to put your sourcing request through, whether it be CJ or whether it be Yakify. So again, I will leave a link to both of these in the description of this video. So after this video, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and set up an account with eBay. You want to go ahead and set up a PayPal account, both of this being business accounts. If you are selling in any currency other than US dollars, then you definitely want to go ahead and set up a TransferWise account. Zik Analytics, I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. The first seven days is for $1. So definitely go ahead and get your seven day trial. And then there is no cost to set up an account with CJ Dropshipping or Yakify. Again, I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. So I'll leave a link to TransferWise, Zik Analytics, CJ Dropshipping and Yakify in the description of this video with eBay and PayPal. Just go to Google and just go to eBay and go to PayPal and get your account set up. That will be best suited for you based on the country that you live in. Let's go over to the next video.